I thought we decided. I don't want this to be every time you take a hallucinogen, you want to have a baby. Not every time. Noah is such a specific writer, and he writes human moments that are very spot on. He's able to focus on the absurdity of human interactions in a way that no one else has. It's so lean and so well written, but also just a lot to discover. A lot of truths in there that make it amusing, but at the same time, not just for the laughs. laughs. I write what's interesting to me and characters that I see in the world. It's about the very possibility of making this film. It's really about America. The human story of it is about a middle-aged couple who, by befriending this 20-something couple, rediscovers stuff in their own lives that had been lying dormant. It's a record collection. It's Jay-Z, it's Thin Lizzy, it's Mozart. His taste is democratic. I wanted to explore the folly of nostalgia in some way. Jamie both probably connects them to a way they used to be when they were younger, but also probably to a fantasy of how they were when they were younger. Noah just chooses to go to areas that really interest him that are not mined that often. Something always had been intriguing to me about how couples are together. How are you different with your spouse suddenly when you're with these other people? You're crying your eyes out. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making, making a sandwich. Fun. Noah creates an atmosphere that you are completely free to fail and discover and be as free as and comfortable as possible. I know a lot of actors that have worked with him and have loved it and people that want to work with him because he brings out the best in you as an actor. Yeah.